time to pull up a chair. We've got another great story for you today in the R Lounge. Do you have a ride or die? Today in the R Lounge, we give credit where credit is due. Up first, a maid of honor with some debt to pay. Am I at the a-hole for kicking my maid of honor out of my wedding with five days notice? I'm 23 female, getting married in a couple of days. Most of this is in the last two weeks. My maid of honor, 26 female, M, was in charge of planning my bachelorette party, which I wanted to be a surprise. We live in a city, but none of us live in downtown, so I was hoping for a hotel room downtown and having a fun night out with friends, maybe a brunch. Most of the bridal party live locally, but two girls flew in for it. When M picked me up two weeks ago on Friday, I was excited to see where we were going and what we were doing. We ended up going to M's one-bedroom townhome and spent the whole weekend there. There are eight of us, so it was cramped and we kept running into issues with only one bathroom. On Friday night, we had games and ordered pizza. Saturday, we had a mimosa bar, went shopping, ordered food, and watched a movie. Before parting ways on Sunday, it wasn't the bachelorette party of my dreams, or a particularly fun weekend, but it was okay, and I appreciated it. Last weekend, my fiancé, 32 male, Jay, had just returned from a work trip. I hadn't caught him up to speed on the party, because there wasn't much to report. But when he returned, we were chatting and I told him about the party. He looked confused but said nothing else that evening. The next day, I got a message from M asking to meet up to talk about something. M revealed that Jay had given her a significant amount of money over a year ago with the intention that it was used to pay for a bachelorette party. It would have been enough to pay for the entire bridal party to do a week-long vacation out of town, including airfare, hotel, food, drinks, and fun. I wasn't expecting this type of event. A weekend downtown would have been wonderful. And even though the party at her home wasn't what I hoped for, I was fine with it because I got to be with all of my friends. She instead used the money to pay off credit card debt and hoped that no one would notice. I told her I needed some time to process and went home. After talking with Jay about it, I decided that the best action would be to remove her from the wedding. I came to this decision because I, I don't feel I can trust her and don't want her to be standing next to me at my wedding. I slept on it overnight and sent her a text saying this on Monday. Since then, I have been getting texts from her mom and boyfriend telling me how awful I am for doing this since I didn't need a big party and then was able to financially benefit. My mom is also against removing her from the wedding as she's like a sister to our family and it would be tragic for me to get married without M there. The rest of the bridal party is split with half saying I shouldn't have kicked her out and the other half agreeing with me. M has called me crying because she already has her dress, Jay and I paid for all the dresses, and she can't wear it anywhere else. At this point, I want the wedding to be over with so I can be on my honeymoon and not have to deal with these people. So was my action too extreme? Am I the a-hole? Let's get some thoughts from the community. First up, not the a-hole. She stole money from you and it sounds like it was a decent chunk of money too. I would honestly have a stern talking to with your mom and maybe cut off people that are taking her side. This is ridiculous that anyone wouldn't immediately be on your side after she misappropriated money meant for your bachelorette. She obviously knew it was wrong because she told you out of guilt. ETA, stealing $25,000 is insane. Put her on blast to everyone and file a police report. She also only told you because she was pressured. Cut contact and let the law handle it at this point. The OP replies, she didn't tell me out of guilt. After he found out what my bachelorette party was, my fiance told her either she needed to sit down and tell me or he would. Next judgment, not the a-hole. Make sure your family understands that this beloved sister has become a conniving thief. You can't trust her as she's already proven to be a betrayer of trust. I'm sorry you lost a dear friend over this. You could choose to forgive her, but you can wait as long as you need to do so and it's not required. I hope you have a great wedding. You're not the a-hole here, OP. Why would you want someone who steals from you to stand next to you at your wedding? And like you said, she didn't even feel guilty about it. She was forced to admit to you by your fiance. If she were truly family, she wouldn't have done such a selfish thing and would have given you the bachelorette party of your dreams. Update. Hey Reddit. I'm here with an update to my Am I the A-hole post. I'm posting this on my profile because it's easier. First, thank you all so much for being so nice on my previous post. I know this is delayed, but I hope it answers any lingering questions you may have and I was somewhat waiting to have an update that would answer questions. I had no idea my previous post would get so much attention and so many people would be interested. To answer the most pressing question, I removed my maid of honor from my wedding and disinvited those who continued to support her after I shared the amount she stole. 
My husband and I had a lovely wedding and honeymoon. And when we got back, we got in contact with his lawyer to begin compiling information and prepare to file a civil suit. This is still in the early stages, but as so many did point out, we do have a responsibility to ensure she faces some kind of consequence to prevent this from happening to someone else. While we won't be pressing criminal charges, we'll cooperate with law enforcement should the DA wish to bring charges after information is brought forth in our civil suit. I honestly don't believe my ex-friend has money to repay us, but we will be donating anything we receive from the trial. I'll try to respond to comments below if there are any other questions. Honestly, that sounds fair. It's a large sum of money that she was entrusted with and she totally blew it. Do you think OP and her fiance are taking it way too far? Next up, can two childhood friends get past this wedding rift? Let's dive in. Am I the a-hole for refusing to attend my best friend's wedding? I, 28 female, am entangled in a wedding drama of epic proportions. My recently engaged best friend, 29 female, asked me to be her maid of honor, and words can't even describe how happy I was. We've been inseparable since kindergarten and I was ready to make her big day unforgettable. I spent nearly $700 on her bachelorette party, buying cute outfits for everyone and renting a party bus with all you can drink drinks. The other girls pitched in, but I'm the most financially stable so the majority fell on me. I helped plan the wedding of her dreams, right down to contacting the vendors and setting dates when she was too busy. I made the save the date and invitation cards. What I'm trying to say is that I did a lot for her. And then, two weeks before the wedding, my best friend asked me to step down and said that her future sister-in-law would be taking the role of maid of honor. I was pissed and we got into a huge argument over where I, admittedly, said things I wasn't proud of. Since then, I've received texts from our friends, best friend's family, the groom's family, and even sister-in-law telling me that I'm a drama queen who needs to get over herself and that it isn't about me. This has really gotten to me and I need to know, was I in the wrong? Edit for grammar mistakes. Edit 2. Thank you everyone who's been commenting and giving me advice. I'm going to wait a week and let emotions cool and then try to have a sit down with my friend and talk about this. I'll be logging off for now because I'm going to make a huge batch of cookies and watch some TV to relax. Edit 3. Same post. November 14th, 2023, three days later. A small update and to answer some questions. I asked for $200 of the money back because $500 was a repayment from when she paid me my rent in college for a month. I hadn't paid her back sooner because she requested I use it for her bachelorette. She's been dating her fiance for eight years. And we're waiting to be more financially stable before getting married. On to the update. I called her this morning and asked to talk. She agreed and we set up a meeting on Thursday at a local coffee shop. I'm a bit concerned because she sounded really shy and nervous on the phone. Hopefully that goes well and I can do an official update with happy news. Thank you so much for your advice and comments. Now let's get a couple of responses to some relevant comments. About asking for the money back. I tried asking for some of the money back, but she called me money hungry and said I never told her it was conditional. Have you talked to sister-in-law? Once or twice before this went down, she's been texting and calling me to tell me what a self-centered jerk I am, but I haven't replied. Did she give you a reason for why she asked you to step down? Sister-in-law is an introvert and might never get to be a maid of honor. I have a large friend group and might be a maid of honor at one of their weddings. Is she close to sister-in-law? She isn't particularly close to sister-in-law and even would complain about her at times. Sister-in-law is the youngest member of the nearby extended family. She's 18. I don't know if that changes things, but my friend felt like sister-in-law was coddled. Could there be something going on behind the scenes? I don't consider behind the scenes abuse. From what I've seen of the fiance, he's very kind and sweet and treats her right, but I don't know much about the family. I want to talk to my friend once emotions settle a little bit. A few people have mentioned the groom's family pressuring her, and I think it's likely. I thought it was extremely out of character, but one person said she might be feeling pressure to conform to the family since she wants them to like her. I'm not sure what the actual reason behind her actions are, but hopefully I can sit down with her soon and talk it out. One more thought from the OP. She paid for the base dress and I was going to pay for alterations. I don't want to expose her online because we've been friends for over 20 years and I don't want to hurt her like that. I'm still hoping we can be friends. It does make me feel better that so many people are on my side, even if it's just on Reddit. I was genuinely starting to feel like I was going crazy. OP is voted not the a-hole. Honestly, anything to do with weddings is incredibly stressful, and being the maid of honor is a huge job, and it comes with a lot of responsibilities, as well as a huge sense of pressure to make things just perfect. It would be totally gutting to hear that you have to step down as maid of honor after all the work you've put into it, and honestly, it's a bit unfair of an ask for the bride and supposed best friend to put forward to you, especially when they can see just how hard you're working for them and towards their special day. Update post, 
November 17th, 2023, six days from the OG post. Hi everyone. This is an update to my previous post, which you can find on my profile. First, I just want to thank everyone again for how kind and supportive you have all been, but also how honest. I took everything to heart and everyone's advice was great. Now onto the update. I met my friend at around 9 a.m. yesterday at a local coffee shop. She looked really bad. Her hair was super greasy and unkempt. She had really bad eye bags and she seemed totally exhausted. When I asked her what was wrong, she just apologized. I kept prodding and it turns out that her in-laws are real pieces of work. Apparently, they've been harassing her for nearly three years about having sister-in-law as the maid of honor at the wedding, and when my friend chose me, they went ballistic. My friend said she thought she'd be able to handle it until the wedding day, but then mother-in-law threatened to ruin her wedding unless sister-in-law was the maid of honor. My friend panicked, and that's when she told me I would no longer be maid of honor. She apologized for the money-hungry comment and said that she was just in such an awful place mentally that hearing me mention the money made her really upset. The reason all our friends were attacking me is because they knew about the mother-in-law situation, as my friend never mentioned it to me because she didn't want me to step down because of mother-in-law, and they thought I also knew the whole story. And as for the fiancé, he was completely in the dark. He doesn't have a good relationship with his mother already, and my friend didn't want to be what destroyed that relationship. When my friend told me all this, I felt awful. I didn't know she was enduring three years of harassment because of me. I immediately apologized, and she apologized, and we both cried a lot. When the tears stopped, she pulled out an envelope with $200 and gave it to me. I originally refused, but she insisted, so I took it. I encouraged her to tell her fiancé because keeping this from him wasn't helping anyone, and if he decided to cut off mother-in-law, then that was his decision, not hers. After talking a lot more about future boundaries, our friendship, and the wedding, I decided I would go to the wedding and we'd still be friends. I know my friend didn't handle this in the best way, but I've known her for over two decades and she's practically my platonic soulmate. That's not something you should throw away because of this. Originally, that was how my update ended, but as I was typing this, I received a text from my friend saying, that fiancé disinvited his mom and practically half of his family, including sister-in-law, because of their treatment of my friend and me. She asked if I would be willing to be the maid of honor again, and I said yes. I just want to give a final thank you to Reddit for helping me through this, and I hope all of you have a nice night. Weddings are so stressful. It sucks that they truly do bring out the worst in people. But it's nice that the two of you were able to communicate with each other. She's really lucky to have a friend like you who will go above and beyond and support her no matter what. Do you have a friend like OP? When and how do they pull through for you? Give them a shout out in the comments below. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell before you leave. We'd love to hear the thoughts you have on today's topic, so feel free to leave a comment. See you next time in the R Lounge.